What's up geeks and gamers, Call of Duty Cold War has been out for a fair while now and I personally have been enjoying it quite a lot. I think the multiplayer aspect of this game is pretty good, like I just seem to really click this one for whatever reason. Now I will admit that this game launched with in subpar amount of content, whether that be weapons or maps. And with Season 1 set to come out in about a week from now, it actually comes out the same day as Cyberpunk, believe it or not. A whole lot of the content for Season 1 has already leaked ahead of its launch. Now due to DMCA's, I can't show you physically what the pictures are and all that type of stuff, but I can explain it. And honestly, I'm surprised with how much content has leaked and just how much content that is set to be in Season 1. Now one thing that I do want to point out here is that with Season 1 launching, this is the start of the integration of Modern Warfare and Warzone into Call of Duty Cold War. So that means whatever cosmetic items or whatever weapons you're using in both Modern Warfare and Cold War can now be used in Warzone when the season comes out. And with a thousand season levels to grind through, it's expected that there's gonna be quite a amount of content in this season. So I'm not gonna go over absolutely everything that leaked because a whole lot of it is cosmetic stuff and just kind of boring to talk about in all honesty. But I wanna point out some of the major things that leaked. So the first thing I feel that's worth talking about is there's gonna be a starter pack. Now this looks pretty similar to what there was in Modern Warfare whenever a new season came out. It gives you some COD points, a badge, an emblem, and it gives you access to the battle pass. And for those that were unaware, you can actually progress through the battle pass by playing both Warzone and Modern Warfare's multiplayer. So it doesn't matter which game you're playing, you will work towards the battle pass no matter what Call of Duty game you're playing, whether it be Warzone, Cold War, or Modern Warfare. I do think that's pretty cool myself. The next thing that leaked was a new operator called Stitch. Now this guy's giving me Tremor vibes from Mortal Kombat and there was some skins leaked of him as well. He's wearing a hood and he seems to have like a ninja type gas mask covering his face. It's very Mortal Kombat-esque. Like I said, he looks a lot like Tremor from Mortal Kombat in my opinion. And yeah, there was some skins leaked for him. Nothing overly fancy in terms of skins that leaked, but the artwork for him does look pretty cool. So, and then after that there was Four maps that leaked, four brand new maps that leaked, I want to add, because there's actually some more. But of these four, it looks like one of them is going to be a 2v2 map, and this one seems to look like a game show type setting. The others, I'm going to assume, are a 6v6. The other one looks to me like it's a subway setting. The next one looks like we're in some type of a nuclear facility with like a nuclear warhead silo. And after that, it kind of, to me, looks like a KGB base of some kind. It's kind of hard to say now. These might have been in the campaign, I don't know, I haven't played the campaign yet in this game. Now the next map that leaked isn't exactly a new map, it's a Christmas themed nighttime setting for Nuketown. Now with Christmas just around the corner, this does make sense that they'll be doing this type of stuff. I imagine this will be a limited mode for Nuketown. I don't think I've ever played Nuketown at night, so I'm curious to see how this is going to look. And looking at the picture of it, you know, there's going to be a lot of Christmas lights to light it up a little bit. so. Pretty cool, I'm all for that. Then after that, we see quite a number of the skins for the operators in this game. Nothing overly fancy in my opinion, but I do think one of the wood skins looks pretty cool. It's like a snow type theme for it. And the battle pass image for this season seems to be that of the Stitch character, the one that looks like Tremor from Mortal Kombat. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, that's what the badge is gonna look like. Then it does show a new photo from the upcoming multiplayer mode called Dropkick. Now this did kinda leak about a week or so ago with some information about it but now it's basically confirmed at this stage. So the way this looks to me is it kind of looks similar to VIP in the aspect that there's one player that has a pistol and a briefcase. Now I believe the briefcase is nuclear launch codes and the, the goal of this mode is to access a nuclear missile and detonate it. I'm always happy to see nukes in Call of Duty games. This could be a really interesting mode, but then again, I didn't particularly like the VIP game mode of this game. The next thing of note in my opinion is we do actually see some alternate camos for two of the new DLC weapons coming to Season 1. So the first guy being the MAC-10 submachine gun, and the second one being the Groza or the Gruza assault rifle. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Now I did say two weapons, but I'm pretty sure there's actually a third weapon, and this is going to be the Striker shotgun. Now the reason why I think this is going to be coming is because it, that did also leak about a week or so ago, around the same time we got the first information for Dropkick. And further down into the leaks, it does show you some of the multiplayer store bundles. So yeah, the store will be completely set up come season one. And in one of them, we see an alternate camo for the striker shotgun. So I've got to assume that means the shotgun's coming, right? Now, just quickly on the subject of these store bundles, again, all of this will be usable in Warzone as well. And just like with Modern Warfare, there's a lot of anime packs because apparently those actually sold really, really well. Like they made a lot of money off them. So of course, we're going to keep doing them as well as some trace around packs. So expect to see a whole lot of crazy colored bullets flying around comes the start of season one. 
The next section does talk about some of the league's maps and the first one is Rebirth Island from Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Alcatraz. Now this we have known has going to be the new Warzone map for quite some time. We're just getting more and more confirmation of this. So to me this seems like it's undeniable proof that this will be the new Warzone map, Rebirth Island. Again, that's Alcatraz from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I've never played this map because I didn't play Black Ops 4, so I'm curious to give it a go. You know, it, it is going to be nice to have a new Warzone map. We have been playing the same Warzone map since Warzone launched. It also goes on to clarify that one of the new maps is called Maul. So, yep, yeah, cool, whatever. And now the big one that I don't think anyone expected was there has been an image leaked of the remake of the famous Black Ops 2 map raid yeah it looks like raid from black ops 2 is going to be coming to cold war now this does make sense considering modern warfare did remaster quite a number of old modern warfare maps and brought them in whether they be from modern warfare 1 2 or 3 i mean they gave us rust raid was probably in people's top 10 cod maps of all time so i think this is a really good addition and any new multiplayer map is good in my opinion considering like i said the lack of content at the launch of this game. Now that does seem to be the main stuff that has leaked ahead of the launch of Season 1, which again comes out December 10th, the same day as Cyberpunk 2077, so that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. There's a whole lot of stuff coming to Black Ops Cold War, a thousand season levels, new prestiges, the integration of Warzone and Modern Warfare all funneling together, leveling up the same battle pass. I think this is actually a pretty good step forward for Call of Duty as a whole. It's going to be good to be able to play Warzone and still level up my battle pass and season level in Black Ops Cold War. And if I ever just want to jump back on Modern Warfare and play that multiplayer, same type of thing. Now this does make me wonder, because there has been a lot of revealed scrapped content for Modern Warfare, will that be coming to the game in order to keep the population of that game alive? Because yeah, you can level up by playing that game as well. Only time will tell. Another thing I quickly want to mention with these leaks, there hasn't been any zombie content that leaked. Now, if I remember correctly, on the roadmap of Season 1, it did say New Zombies Mode. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say there's going to be no new zombie map until Season 2, but it does look like we're getting at least one new zombie mode. So if you're a zombie player, that is pretty disappointing in my opinion, and I hope there's actually some prizes in store during season one for zombie players. But what do you guys make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe, share the video around, check out geeksandgamers.com. Have a fantastic day, stay safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you all in the next video.